Hello, so there's been a few skills suggested for old school RuneScape and th I thought I'd go through them. So this one is the herding skill. So let's start off with the introduction. So there's a herding skill which they've designed and they've tried to make it so it would complement old school um, and it would be like the old school feel of the game that we'd love. Uh, it will benefit the community endlessly without becoming dead content. Uh, they wanted it to um, complement already things already in the game, rather than just adding to new things and complementing itself. Uh, they wanted to make sure it was worth the effort, but they didn't want to make it overpowered, which is always good. So uh, they decided to add the definition of uh, herding, herding from Wikipedia, which is the act of bringing individual animals together into a group, maintaining the group, and moving the group from place to place, or any combination of those. So basically, carrying, watching, and tending a groups of animals. Players already suggested, there is a lot of players suggested skills um, for animals, things like breeding, summoning, um, things, but there are a lot of things that those skills might be like just complementing themselves, being overpowered, I mean, he says, uh, summoning, presumably summoning from RuneScape 3, his is a bit overpowered, is it worth the effort, and things like that. Um, they like the idea of breeding, but most of the suggestions have been a bit vague, apparently. And while uh, breeding's interesting, breeding alone is a bit of a terrible skill, and it just becomes a bit of a pet shop, <laughs> uh, which sounds a bit strange. Anyway, so where do you start herding? So, um, south of Varrock, there's an old sheep and ram stable. So, um, just below there, there are, is actually some sheep. It's the, on the journey between uh, Lumbridge and Varrock. You will see it. Once you get there, um, it's going to be completely remade, so I'm not really too sure how it's remade. But they're going to add a shepherd. I think there's already a bit of a shepherd there. You know, there's a shepherd that's tending a lot of sheep with me meticulous care. Uh, he explains information about her herding. So instead of a quest you just sort of talk to the NPC and he sort of tells you about it. Although they've got a lot of quest uh, sort of NPC dialogue. Might be interesting if they had a uh, some like sheep shearer maybe sheep herder to start the quest. Anyway, so um what do I do to start herding? So the shepherd explains things. But firstly you have to build an animal pen. The shepherd will explain there are building spots throughout the land, much like farming plots are. Well, the way you say building spots makes me think of construction, but it's like a farming plot, but it's for animals. Uh, you have these spots and you can build an animal pen. The items required to build a basic animal pen are as followed. Five regular logs, a saw, and a hammer. Uh, the basic animal pens being built will give a small amount of XP towards construction. The basic pen can be upgraded as you level up in the skill. Uh, animal pens have a chance of breaking or being penetrated over time. Uh, on occasion, there'll be uh, you'll have to repair any de faults to the structure, or your animals will escape, be stolen by thieves, or possibly devoured by other animals. So, if you had sheep, maybe a wolf will come and eat it. Um, as you progress in level and upgrade your structure, the likelihood of these events will decrease. After your pen is complete, you can begin begin to herd your animals into the pen, and we, you will need to purchase the appropriate tools for that. So the t tools to um, that are unique for her herding. So there's the cowbell, which is used to cool cows and bulls that are already in r inside of your pen. Uh, and then when you click it, all of them will come around you, and you can harvest XP and cow hides. So does that mean you have to kill them? Because <laughs> obviously you have to kill them to get the hides. I mean. If they just come towards you and you get XP, that'll be interesting, but it'll be a bit useless. Uh, shepherd's cane. Um, you call sheep and rams towards you if they're already inside the pen. And uh, they come towards you, you harvest XP, wool, and ram's horns. So presumably you're killing them again because ram's horns, I believe you have to kill a ram to get. I'm not a sheep expert in real life. And in game, you have to kill them to. You have to kill rams. Um, Wool, on the other hand, y you don't have to kill them necessarily. Um, next thing is a herding lanyard. 
used to capture wild animals that do not reside in your herding pen and you transport them to the pen. So I guess, <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of a Pokeball. Um, hog catcher used to capture um, wild pigs and hogs that do not reside inside your herding pen and transport them to the pen. Uh, the next item that they've got is beginner's dog's whistle which is used to summon one border collie which will assist you in herding. The intermediate dog whistle will summon two border collies to assist your herding and an advanced one will um, summon three border collies to assist your herding efforts. I don't think that's summoning per se, like the way you think of it in Risky 3, it's just um, w when you use the whistle you'll get dogs that try and bring in these animals. Um, so they're just saying why border collies? Because they're used in real life scenarios to help herd animals and they belong um, they were basically born to herds, so that's just an explanation there. Um, also, as well as them, uh, you can use them to protect uh, away from thieves and foxes as you advance your level. You can use more more dogs. Uh, medicine. Uh, you can use medicine to heal sickened creatures in your care. Uh, it requires you to add a guam leaf, no herb level required. So um, I think it's just an item which you put a guam leaf on and then give it to the animal. Hooves mold. To repair a broken hoof, healing an injured creature in your care requires you to smith hooves, uh, which has no smithing level, um, and you can just put them on the feet, I guess. Uh, a prod used to direct an animal to um, go into that has gone wild in your pen into a barn so they can relax. So that I guess there's a chance that the animals will go a bit crazy and you just gotta poke them into a barn. Get in there. That'll be a bit weird. But um kinda of funny. And then they get to relax inside the barn. Just poke them in. Um weeds. Weeds can be used to feed basic animals into your pen. Oh, to feed the animals in your pen. So uh, all the low level ones can eat weeds. So animal f so that's a bit of a strange thing to eat. Anyway, uh, the next one, animal feed. Use it on a food container to feed the basic animals in your pen. Creature feed. Uh, used to fill your food counter, feed the high level animals in your pen. Now you're familiarized with all the tools and you've built your pen, you can begin the process of herding.